Hello, everybody! Hi! Y'all's most favorite concepts we do. Who wore it better? Who wore it better? And I always win, as you guys know. <laughs> so we'll see if this time is different. Please let me win! In honor of Barbie, the new movie coming out, we are going to be doing a Barbie themed Who, Who wore, wore it better? better? I think I hate this. And I feel like I'm looking a little bit more like Rockstar Barbie. And if I don't win this, my identity, I'm gonna have a full identity crisis. I'm gonna go into identity crisis mode because pink is my jam. You guys know this. We'll see. As you guys know, we don't pick out the categories or the no. items. Our team does. Yes. So here are the items that we have. Here are the categories. Malibu Beach Barbie. We have. A very hot pink and purple swimsuit from Amazon. Then, Princess and the Popper. We have a purple flower crown. We've got Superstar Barbie, hot pink feather boa. And last but not least, Workout Barbie. A nice kind of 70s and 80s sweatbands and leg warmers and I think a fanny pack. So, we're gonna try to style these items. Let's see what it looks like. Oh. That's not the top. Here's the top, very, very pink. Here is the bottom, also very, very pink. We're gonna go put it on and see how we can possibly style this. Here's the swimsuit on. Very, very pink, and I'm a little worried about it because I'm not entirely sure what is going to match this level of pink. I have this option where it's just like a little skirt moment because it's kind of purple and matches the purple and I feel like that's fun like I could do that or I think my other option is that I put this little floral top moment on and then I just leave the bottoms and I put it on with a pair of sandals. I ended up going with the skirt. I found this little like pouchy purse thing and I have a little pair of sandals on to match. Hopefully this is enough to kind of feel like I styled Malibu Barbie. So here's the thing you guys, even though I'm a pink girly, I don't have a lot of like Barbie pink, if that makes any sense. And also don't mind the fact that my closet is literally a mess in here. Whoa, the coloring got weird for a second. I'm gonna put this swimsuit on and see what it looks like before I even try and style this. Okay, <clears throat> here's a swimsuit on. It's actually pretty cute. I, I don't know what I was expecting, but this is pretty cute. And it's very hot pink. It is very um, Barbie. Now I just have to find what the heck I'm gonna put with it. Okay, I think I have found some things that might look good with this swimsuit. Sparkly slides. Feels very Barbie. Potentially this, but last time, y'all got so mad at me because I covered the swimsuits up. So then I get nervous about putting this on, but we'll see. Or I just have this simple cover up too. That could just be kind of like a throw on. I'm gonna play around and see what I can come up with. Literally, y'all got so mad last time when I covered up the swimsuits. But this one has holes in it, so maybe y'all won't think it's so bad. I think I hate this. <laughs> We're moving on. So I'm gonna try this one now. Ooh, yes. Ooh, yes. Yes, this is, this is much better. Okay, so this is what I have so far with the sparkly slides, but I definitely need some sort of sunglass happening up here. Otherwise, I don't even think it counts as Malibu Barbie. So give me five seconds to go see what kind of sunglasses I have. Somewhere in the depths of these drawers, I have sunglasses. That's red and probably won't match. That's blue and probably won't match. That's red and probably won't match. It would appear that I have lost any other sunglasses I own. So I went with the blue. I felt like it could kind of give off like Malibu, very summery colors. This is the full look with the shoes. Please let me win. That's Brooklyn. And this is fine. Oh, I have to get my shoes. I kicked them off, but ta-da. Scared. It was a struggle. It was hard. So I don't know if you guys know, I'll pop up a reference picture of what those Barbies look like. It's actually one of our favorites because they're twins. 
it's yeah, in the I actual movie. Twin just like you. I'm just like you. You're just like me. Literally icons. And they're very princessy. They have like kind of ball gowns almost the whole entire movie. So let's see what I can dig out that looks like a ball gown in my closet. Let me just put this on and see what it looks like. Because cute. Is that how that works? Question mark. I'm not really sure how this is supposed to go. Aw, it's cute. Wait, I think I put that on wrong. Something about this doesn't seem right, but we get the idea. I see this purple in the mix, and I have two ideas of two different dresses I could wear. Because it's purple, I feel like it really could lean Rapunzel. However, it has to coordinate. I have some like iconic purple ball gowns that I've worn once upon a time. I decided no, here's why. I don't know if there's a rule about these who wore it betters, but I think the intention is that it's supposed to be something you would actually wear out. And I wouldn't wear a ball gown just casually out, but I would wear this. And this feels very on brand, princess in the popper, Rapunzel type vibes. And it matches perfectly. So I'm gonna put it on. You guys, this is perfect. Barbie and the Princess and the Popper. It's so cute! I'm gonna put, the lighting is so bad every time I come into the closet. I'm gonna put heels and I'm gonna do these. Cause these feel very, I don't know, they just feel like they'd match the outfit. Y'all, why is this low key giving me vibes, flashbacks to my wedding? Ta-da! I love! I think this is probably one of the easiest rounds I've had in a while. Please! to the who wore it better voters. I have my eyes on you. Sometimes I feel like going second puts you at such a disadvantage because Bailey just came out wearing the cutest outfit with this and now I have no idea what to do with this. I mean, there's pretty much only one thing you can really do, which is wear a dress. So I'm gonna go see what my options are. Bailey's closet, I'm not sure if she has any more dresses in there that would work, but we're gonna go look. I really think I need to wear my hair down just to, cause it's not big enough to go around my head like that. So I kind of have to put it at the back of my head. So I think I should wear my hair down with the crown. I found <clears throat> this purple top and then also this white skirt. And I feel like the pairing looks very princessy. The top technically is supposed to sit like that, but I like it better off the shoulders. The top is definitely a go. I'm not 100% about the skirt, but I don't know if I have a better option. This is what it looks like with my hair down. I think it looks a lot better. And I've decided I'm gonna intentionally leave my feet bare. I'm not gonna put shoes on, because I feel like Princess and the Popper vibes is kind of like barefoot running in a forest of flowers. I'm gonna go show my outfit. Maybe win this round? Cute! Ta-da! But yours is, I was saying to the camera that it's kind of giving Rapunzel, because it's this very pastel purple. It is giving Rapunzel. Where your shoes? I yeah. decided to go barefoot. You being barefoot is giving Rapunzel. Ta-da! Maybe I'll win, because I'm for <laughs> Princess in the Popper theme. I need to win this. I simply need to win this. For some reason, I'm imagining like, I don't know, denim skirt, denim jacket, big sunglasses, boots. I don't know, I'm gonna see if Bailey, what Bailey has in her closet, cause again, this is not my closet, so I don't know what's in there. Rockstar Barbie, here we come. Whoa. It's kinda hard doing this in somebody else's closet because I have no idea what she has. And so, I feel like I'm a little bit at a disadvantage here. I do see a denim jacket, that's a plus. I think she's got some things I can work with in here. I found these pants that I feel like are rock star-y. But they're like faux leather pants. And I was like, oh yes, rock star. Except for when I put them on, I'm feeling a little bit more like business Barbie, not so much like rock star Barbie. <sighs> so I think I'm gonna have to start over. This top I brought with me because it's the most hot pink thing I have. However, it's also not giving Barbie. So, uh, I don't know. I'm stuck on this one, y'all. I'm. I'm stuck. I found this sparkly black dress and I put the hot pink on top of it and I feel like I'm looking a little bit more like Rockstar Barbie. I think I'm gonna pull my hair up into like buns with like really big bows. I can't decide on the shoes. Do I do extremely large silver pumps or do I do matching hot pink heels? I feel like the silver pumps look more Rockstar but the pink looks more Barbie. Ooh, I don't know. 
I did my hair in these like little buns and I put these black bows in it. It's not the best thing I've ever done, but I feel very much like a Barbie. Like this is something a doll would have in their hair. I think I've got a pair of sunglasses that will match the getup. And we're just gonna, oh my gosh, it's shedding like crazy. We're just gonna do a little moment like this. <laughs> like this. <laughs> This is the third round, and this is the one I'm a little bit more nervous about. Oh boy. That just shed feathers everywhere, all over my bed. Does Rockstar Barbie have to mean literal rock, like a rock band, or can it just mean like pop star? So I've got this in my closet, which I don't think I have ever worn. It's this sequiny dress, which isn't really screaming like traditional rock star, but I think if I paired it with like leather black boots, this is what this dress looks like. And I think if I were like, you know, like rocking out on a electric guitar, it could give the vibes. I've got a leather boot on. Look in the mirror and see if I can zhuzh it up a little. It could be giving, like. <laughs> Rock is just so not my jam, y'all. I literally, I am, I'm gonna try. Let me find some accessories and we're gonna try. I know that red and pink don't necessarily always match, but I am desperate for some sort of accessory that kind of matches the rock star vibe. I'm kind of thinking it's, <laughs> it's giving the vibe. <laughs> This is, got, we're gonna be done. This is it. I don't feel good about this one, but this is it. Yours is a tamer version of mine. I'm like, baby! All right! I had to like lay down to get in frame. Oh my gosh. Struggling, got it. I got it. A sweatband. <laughs> Problem. I don't really wear that much athletic wear and I don't own that many things that are athletic-y. So I'm gonna have to kind of dig in my closet and see what I can find. I just had kind of a genius idea. This is my Bucky's swimsuit, but inside out, it could look like one of those 80s sort of workout onesie things, okay? And I can put tights on underneath. I am digging this idea. It's definitely not perfect, but it does kind of give off like ballerina Barbie vibes. Where did leg warmers go? They go like, they go here, right? Oh my gosh. I actually think it kind of works. And then the last step would just be adding the tennis shoes to the whole outfit. I kind of feel like it's better without. How can I be workout Barbie without shoes? Do you wear shoes with leg warmers? You cannot tell me that this is not a total sleigh. And I just whipped this out of nowhere. Sleigh, sleigh. So the first thing that comes to my mind is like 70s and 80s like Zumba moms that wear leggings underneath a leotard, but I don't have a leotard. I did bring some athletic shorts. I'll show you what they look like. Okay, so I did bring these hot pink athletic shorts, but I didn't bring a top. So then I was like, what if we go back to the hot pink swimsuit? Cause it kind of could work as a top. I decided that the top, the swimsuit top with this looked just too much like the swimsuit and I wanted to make it different. And so I put this on and I was thinking about doing kind of like a 70s, 80s look with this over the top and my hair and like a high pony. Found these shoes in Bailey's closet that have little stripes of hot pink on them. So I put the leg warmers on, I put the wrist warmers on and my outfit is ready. Yeah, I don't even know if I've ever looked this bad. <laughs> like, this is literally so like 70s, 80s. This is my outfit. Let's go see how it does. It feels very similar. Well, we do have like 16 of the same items. <laughs> it's Zumba Mom. It's the Zumba Mom. All right, let's see who wins. This is the last round, so let's get posting our, our polls. 
you guys. We just posted the polls. And we're gonna see I who still won. look like, I like still an this one. is so terrible. <laughs> First poll. It's Bailey! Bailey! Malibu Barbie. Woo! 64. Second poll is Bailey. me! In her like yoga mom outfit. I knew it. I knew Barbie was my jam. This is my style. It is my aesthetic. Look at my room. It's all pink. I have a pink cow. I will give it to Bailey because I didn't feel like I was on my A game in this video. I just wasn't on my A game, you know. It was not my closet. It was not my stuff. It was hard. I feel so, like, I'm so, you know what? I'm grateful I didn't win any of the others. Because to win the Barbie one? Oh, drama. Me? Drama. To win the Barbie one? Couldn't have done it, but I couldn't have planned this better myself. <laughs> I'm just happy. So now we can stop saying that <laughs> everyone's biased towards me. Oh my, you're saying all my other outfits just sucked? <laughs> Y'all, thank you for this one. <laughs> thank you. Comment down below who you think should have won, if it was me or if you feel like Brooklyn deserved better. And give us some theme ideas for our next two were better because we are loving these lately. We definitely want to do more. So comment that down below and we will see y'all next week. Bye y'all.